Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science. Today, Dan and I are going to be doing the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, not using just the regular ice bucket, but a huge water parabola. This can hold about 100 to 200 gallons. We've had rainstorms that it's filled up to almost 2,000 pounds. We normally use a small piece of PVC, draw a suction manually, and let it drain it off. This is two inch diameter PVC pipe. You would not be able to manually draw a vacuum with that unless you were very talented. What I did was I made a U-pipe with a check valve on the end. You fill the pipe with water. When you turn it, all of the water comes out with this large volume. So it does about 80 gallons a minute. It's very, very powerful. Very powerful. I was nominated to do this by my niece and my nephew. Kristen Garcia and Michael Rojas. And then Dan nominated me, so that's why we're doing this together. And we are nominating anybody who has not been nominated that feels left out. So if you feel left out because nobody nominated you, then just put your name in the comment section below and um, you're officially nominated by us. So I guess that works out. That sounds cool. I like that. Sooner or later, there's going to be the last person who ever does this. I don't know who that will be, but... So we're going to be putting 30 pounds of ice up there. I hate taking cold showers. Hi, everybody. I'm getting ready to do the challenge. Uh, a little different than the water bucket and the ice. This is the parabola green power science style type of thing. I'm going first because he just challenged me. Three. Oh my. Get out of here, Ah! Oh, I didn't do the whole thing. <laughs> Is it cold? <laughs> yes. It wasn't very cold at first, but then it got really cold. <laughs> oh, I think you were a good sport. That water is really cold up there. Oh, my photo bombing you or something like that. Me with the back of her head. <laughs> you did your challenge. Oh, I hope it's really cold for you. ALS challenge for. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, it's cold, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh. oh, we weren't recording. I have to do it again. Just kidding. Yeah, I know. No, no, no. You're cheating. You gotta get your head on there. Okay. <laughs> I can feel my back. Oh. Yeah, you really got it good because it got icy cold for you. Oh, Kristen's going to love this. Didn't even use all the water up. It only used about 35 gallons. Some ice and water in it. Doesn't even let the water get cold. That's the way you do it. You let the ice fully melt. That is freezing cold. <sighs> Charity. The next challenge is going to be the boiling water challenge. <laughs> Which Dan actually thought about because we could have done an excellent video with boiling water. Yeah, but it wouldn't be up there. Mm. Yeah, would it? Couldn't that have been it a boiling water? Why not? It doesn't get hot. That Never don't. mind. That is a good point. <laughs> the water up there does not get hot because it's clear and the light passes through. That's why the ground's catching on fire behind I'm me. I'm sure I wasn't the only one who thought of that. 